All right. Well, welcome. Thank you for uh, for being here, and we're just excited to uh, to share with you a little bit uh, tonight. We're going to take a little a uh, little different approach to uh, to what we've done here in, in years past. Um, we uh, have a little little uh, less formal format. Um, I'm going to be uh, a little more direct and to the point, and uh, and we're we're going to go through uh, some past accomplishments, things that we've been doing here the last year, year and a half. Uh, then we're going to, to look at some future vision things, uh, uh, budget of course, and, and tuition for next year, uh, but then also look into um, a project we'll call, we call phase four, and uh, we'll talk about that uh, here tonight as well. And then uh, we're gonna leave some time here, uh, probably about a half hour for, uh, for some one-on-one -on -one conversations if you want to. Uh, we have administrators here, we have uh, the principals, uh, school boards here, and so if you would like to, uh, to talk with some people, uh, we'll, we'll provide some time at the end uh, where you can uh, ask questions and, and uh, just get some of those things answered. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, let me pray, pray for us and we'll get started. Pray with me if you would. Father God, thank you so much for this evening. God, we thank you for the state of Grace Christian School as strong as a, as a light for you. That is our heart's desire. This is your school, and we want to represent you well. And we pray, God, that uh, as we share tonight, that, uh, that you would be glorified through this time. That you would help us to communicate clearly, Father. And uh, we pray that you would um, just give us your wisdom and peace as, as we go forward. Thank you for uh, my brothers and sisters here, uh, parents. And, and uh, we just pray, God, that, uh, that you would be pleased in all that happens this evening and as we go forward. Thanks, God. We love you, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Well, first off, I would like to uh, to uh, thank uh, the parents that are here. Thank you for coming. Um, I would love to thank the volunteers. You you do so much to make Grace a wonderful place, and and just really really appreciate all that you do volunteering in, in so many ways. Um, I'd like to thank uh, the school board, and uh, there are several school board members here. If you would. You just stand uh, for a moment, please, school board members. Just stand and uh, show yourself. There we go. Thank you so much, volunteers. And, uh, the time that they put in uh, volunteering is is incredible, and so we very much appreciate uh, you taking on that and doing that for us. I'd also like to thank the faculty and staff that are here among us. So, uh, faculty and staff, if you're in here, would you stand just for uh, just for a quick one? Where you at? you do uh, for all you do for our kids here and uh, uh, I would also like uh, to thank the family ambassadors um, for just bridging between new families that are coming in and, and those that are connecting here there are there a few uh, of the family ambassadors that are, that are around are they here do, do you mind do you want to just raise your hand instead of saying there you go all right family ambassadors thank you so much for being uh, here you know, not having a a child uh, enrolled in the school, it is, it's a different uh, it's a different feeling. But uh, I so appreciate, so so appreciate uh, all that that you do to make this place happen. So thank you, thank you for being here. Well, first off, let's uh, let's start out with uh, security. Uh, safety is a huge priority for us on campus here. And we are regularly looking at our security and our emergency plans. Uh, we are committed to provide the safest learning environment we can here at Grace Christian School. Uh, the recent upgrades that, that we've uh, taken on in the last, uh, last couple of years, uh, we have uh, locking security doors uh, at the main entrances. If you've uh, tried to come during the school day, you understand those, you know what those are about. That has, been, that has been a wonderful improvement. We also have push button locks in all of the classrooms uh, so that you can push uh, the button, lock the door from the inside. Um, that, has been a, that has been an upgrade and it's been, been very, very helpful. Um, we, have, uh, we have upgraded, uh, I guess upgraded might not be the right word, but we have uh, both lethal and non-lethal weapons on campus uh, just for the protection of our students. And, and so that has been uh, something that we have taken on. And uh, we've also adopted the national program of ALICE. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but it's, uh, the acronym is Alert, Lockdown, Inform, 
counter and evacuate. And, and this is a, is a national program that uh, all the public schools in Anchorage do. Many public schools across the nation are a part of this. And, and what, this, uh, what this program does, what this uh, idea does, it, it basically gives you more tools in your toolbox to use when an emergency situation arises. And so we've, we've practiced that, we've uh, been trained uh, with the faculty and the staff and the students, and we'll continue to do that uh, through the years as we go. You know, thanks to a bit of project um, of our, from our last auction, we are going to be updating uh, security cameras on the exterior of the building, and, uh, and we are, we're very excited for, for getting those, uh, those upgraded and, and up to speed. We're also looking to install uh, card reading doors on, on some of the uh, entrances. Uh, over the last, uh, let's see, last year, uh, we've had three incidences where, where uh, some of our faculty or staff have, have lost their keys. Actually, they've had their keys lost for them. Um, two of those incidences, I think all three of them, uh, were vehicles that were broken into. And so vehicles were stolen or the keys were stolen or whatever. And so we have to change all of the exterior locks of the building, uh, which is a, um, a difficult task, labor uh, task. And so with, uh, with some card reading doors uh, from, from the Bitter Project, we'll be able to uh, just cancel cards that are lost and they won't, won't be able to uh, be, uh, be used anymore. We'll also be able to keep uh, track of uh, entering and, and exiting the building and just uh, what's going on there. And so, so the accountability of who's in the building and when and how we're doing that will be, will be very, very useful. So uh, the security committee is, uh, is committed and they continually are looking at adding additional security measures um, here on campus. And one of those that we've discussed, we had a round table here in the fall, and some of you were at that, is, uh, is about bringing uh, armed security presence on, on campus during the school day. And so that's, uh, that's one of the things we're still, we're still working on. Part of our security and our emergency preparedness plans uh, got, got a little test here on November 30th. Uh, I think you're probably uh, well aware of, of that. It was the earthquake and the natural disaster preparedness uh, test and and there were lessons that were that were learned here definitely first of all we are just absolutely praising the lord that uh, there was no damage on on campus no damage in the building unbelievable it's it's a miracle and we are just we're just so thankful for that um we uh i don't know if you had heard this, but uh, but actually our final uh, walkthrough of uh, engineer that came through and, and went through our building to give us our final approval uh, was a Grace grad, and uh, and he said I've done I've done uh, nine schools and, uh, and yours is by far the best and I have nothing to to write I have nothing to put down and so just just praise the Lord for that um, the uh, the students the faculty the staff they did a great job of carrying out those emergency plans that we've been practicing for years and years and years and years and years and years and, years and, uh, and they did a great job of, of uh, carrying those out uh, including uh, singing with students, uh, praying with students, quoting scripture with students, all of those things just in a very tense, very very difficult, very challenging situation and so we are, we are just very very proud of them and, uh, and, and you as parents as well um, remaining calm <coughs> Um, coming in and it was just an orderly uh, flow in the midst of chaos as, as we came in but uh, but just trusting us with your kids that we're going to take care of them we're going to be there for them we're not going to leave them um, we're, we're, we're taking care of business so so thank you so much for that and we know that, that that's not the case for everybody there was there was people even people in our, in our own school and families in our own school that were severely impacted by the earthquake um, so we've been praying for them and and uh, just reaching out to them but it's 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 a wonderful blessing that uh, that our, our building was spared we had an administrate administration uh, debrief session after the earthquake and uh, we uh, we went through okay what are what are some changes what are some upgrades what do we need to improve on here as far as our emergency plans as far as an earthquake goes and and and, and other things that may come up and so uh, some of those uh, up, um, upgrades that, uh, that we've been doing uh, include uh, earthquake buckets where uh, they are loaded with flashlights, uh, first aid kits, some food, some water, able to take uh, 
uh, the bucket with you, and uh, if, the, if the facilities are not working well, a bucket will come in mighty handy in, in an emergency situation. We need to take care of those. Um, we replaced emergency lights uh, that were, were burnt out, uh, both in, in bathrooms, uh, down in the gyms. Some of those we, we weren't aware of, and, and we are now, so we've, we've replaced those lights and, and done that. Also, megaphones. Um, when, the, uh, when the power doesn't work and uh, you can't use a microphone, we can't use our intercom, uh, megaphones. We have one for the secondary end, but we didn't have one for the elementary end. So getting megaphones uh, for both ends to help communicate and then as well some radios for the classrooms. And so just, just uh, some great ideas and some great uh, uh, things that, uh, lessons that are learned and we're, we're going to be better equipped. Uh, for the next one, when, when that comes. Lord willing, it won't be for many, many years. You know, we were blessed with our building uh, that was uh, undamaged, and that allowed us to be a blessing to our community as a whole. And, and there were just, there, there's just a few events that I'll, I'll tell you about that, uh, that we were able to hold here because of, of the earthquake. The first one was uh, um, on Friday the 30th is uh, when the earthquake happened. On that next Sunday, the Anchorage Community Choir was holding their Messiah concert. They'd been doing it 72 years in a row. I mean, and they hadn't missed, and they were just uh, panic-stricken trying to find a place that could legally and, and would be able to, to house them. And so um, we were able to, to do that on Sunday after, after church here in Anchorage Grace. We were able to, to host that in, in the, uh, the North Gym, and that was a huge blessing. They were very, very appreciative of that. Um, on December 6th, we, uh, we hosted a region wrestling tournament that was supposed to be out in Reddington out in the valley. And, uh, and Paul Salima, the guy, says, sure, why not? Of course we can do it. And I'm like, Paul, what are you thinking? <laughs> But, uh, but some of you as volunteers, thank you very much. We, we were able to host uh, a wrestling tournament uh, here, not even a week after, after the earthquake, the region wrestling tournament, and that was a huge blessing. As well as uh, Rabbit Creek Community Council came in and, and used our facility uh, for their council because their buildings were, were uh, um, not in shape to do that. So just a huge thank you to the church and the school staff that, that said, yeah, we can, we can do this. We can help. We can and so, uh, not worrying about inconvenience, but worrying about being a blessing to, uh, to our community. You know, one of our annual, annual events <clears throat> that we just finished is the Martin Luther King Day of Service. And you can see just a few photos uh, up there from that day. There's, uh, there's more online and, and, and on the webpage there if, if you're interested. But, uh, but most years we have we have brought the junior high and high school out. We were precluded from bringing the junior high out with some logistical things this year. So the ninth uh, through twelfth grade went to local elementary schools and just are serving. And in the uh, in the spirit of Martin Luther King, uh, serving others, placing others is more important than yourself. That's that's the heart with which they went out to the to the uh, the local elementary schools here. Um, they did cleaning. They were lunch monitors. They. Um, recess duty, tutoring, and even uh, teaching some math lessons in, in the math classroom. So just so excited and, and just great stories that came back from there. And, and really putting, um, putting into practice what we read in, in 1 John 3.18 where it says, Little children, let us not love with words or tongue, but in actions and in truth. And that's really what we wanted to do. That's really what we want our, our, our students to do. And that's, and that's what they did. They, they served very, very well. So, so we were very excited to, to, uh, to have that, that day. One of the areas that uh, we've had a lot of improvement here uh, recently is in technology at, at Grace. We had a major redoing of our infrastructure and switches and wiring. Um, and that was in October. And uh, it has really, really helped the, uh, uh, solidify our network here in the building. Um, we have added Chrome carts uh, um, to the secondary and enhanced uh, learning for the, for the English and math in the secondary. Um, switching to a Chrome-based uh, platform has been very, very good for us. It's a cloud-based platform, which, which uh, very much helps us with with uh, servers and, and just redundancies that we had going on in the building, that sort of thing. So it's been a huge plus for us. Um, Chromebooks in the elementary classrooms uh, and, and helping with uh, 
education and the technology uh, realm there. And, uh, and just recently we had some remedial reading uh, programs for enhancing uh, the learning of reading for our younger students, our youngest ones. And so uh, there's a program called Lexia that you see up there, and uh, we've been able to purchase some, some hardware and, and uh, the program Lexia, and that, and that is uh, supplied from Title IV funding. I don't, know if, I don't know if you're aware of this, but Title IV funding is a federal funding um, for, for schools, and it doesn't matter if it's uh, private, public, it does not matter. Uh, Title IV funding is for everyone. So um, we go through uh, Anchorage School District is, is the um, facilitator of the funds, but, uh, but we were able to get funding through the Title IV uh, program, which is which is exciting uh, way to use those funds. Well, this year for us here at Grace is an accreditation year, and uh, so we uh, we are duly accredited through uh, ACSI, which is Association of Christian Schools International and Advanced Ed. Advanced Ed is uh, accreditation um, uh, industry uh, standard for all of the public schools and, and all, all of the, you know, most of the schools in the nation, I, I, I believe. And so March 25th through 27th, uh, that means we have an accreditation team on campus here, and they'll be checking all of our uh, educational standards and making sure that we are continuing to meet the Alaska State and Association of Christian Schools International Educational Standards. And uh, this is a, a great deal of time and work and effort to upload all of the verifications and uh, uh, for every one of those standards and all those indicators. Um, some of you, anybody been been through this uh, here before? Anybody accreditation? There we go, we have a few. All right. it, is, it is a lot of work. And uh, we have been working toward this. We still have a good amount of work to do. Um, but, uh, but there will be several focus groups that will, that will be coming during the, uh, the visit on the 25th through the 27th, and those will be, uh, those focus, focus groups will be faculty and staff, will be school board, will be students, will be parents, and so uh, some of you, um, I'm sure, will be, uh, will be asked to be on those, and, and uh, we'll open it up for, for you to be on those, so we'll be telling you more about that as we get, we get closer to it. But one of the areas that we've taken a large step in, um, in not just through the accreditation process, but that was the prompting for it, is the curriculum mapping. And we are using a, a tool called Curriculum Track. And this is a web-based uh, curriculum tool. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a web-based curriculum tool that uh, it aligns the curriculum used in the classrooms with the specific standards in each of the subject areas. And we are able to have a comprehensive map that shows the gap in areas in the curriculum so that they might be addressed, where there, where there are holes, things that, that we need to fill, and, and we can address those. So it will give us uh, added accountability in the alignment between the scope and sequence of the Alaska State Standards. And, and so obviously this is a long process to enter in each of our classes and coursework and curriculum content into curriculum track. Our faculty has done a great job up to this point um, uh, getting this uh, started, and it will take some time for it to be completed. But the value of having this tool, not only for our current faculty, uh, but also in the future for incoming faculty, being able to hand this off to them and, and they can just uh, go online and see uh, everything that uh, is mapped out them in, in a very clear uh, format is, is, uh, is exciting. This will, this will be well worth the investment. So look forward to, uh, we're, we're looking forward to uh, another improvement in our, in our facility here and for next year, and that is down at the other end, on the, on the south end. As per the Bitter Project, uh, we are installing uh, a new asphalt playground complete with basketball hoops and a desperately needed outdoor storage. Now, I know there's gonna be some that are gonna be much chagrin that they'll not have to stand in mud puddles to shoot baskets anymore out on the playground. But uh, we're, we're excited about uh, getting this, uh, getting this up and going here this summer. And this will enhance uh, not only our recess program, but it will also enhance our physical education program, uh, the program here at Anchorage Grace Church, and, and the local community, allowing it to be a, a nice uh, uh, asphalt playground uh, facility here uh, in the neighborhood. Well, if you've been here any, 
any length of time, you, uh, you are probably aware that, that tuition dollars do not cover the cost of educating a student here at Grace fully. Um, roughly tuition dollars uh, uh, cover about 80% of, of what it takes to educate uh, students here at Grace. Uh, we have two major fundraisers that we use every year to help bridge the gap between the cost and, and what, we, uh, what we bring in through tuition dollars. Um, those are the, the Grizzly Auction and the Guardians event. We have roughly a $5.7 million budget annually. And uh, in order to keep the tuition costs at a manageable level, we try and cover that with, uh, with cover that gap with, uh, with these events. The auction was last November 1st, and uh, it was successful in raising $225,000. It was Journey to Narnia. I still have images of, never mind. <laughs> but uh, I hope you're able to be there. It's not, it's, it's not just a fundraising event. It's a community event where, where people who love Grace come and, and uh, see one another and enjoy a fun time together. So I hope you're able to, to come. It was, it, was a, it was a huge blessing. Our second uh, event that we do is the Guardian event. Um, and uh, this uh, is going to take a little different uh, twist this year than it has uh, in, in times past. Um, we are rolling out a new format, and it's going to be an evening event. And uh, it is going to be a gourmet evening with delectable food and fine coffee and an entertaining presentation of GCS and its mission. We're also going to have an internationally renowned improv group that is going to come in and, and uh, do some entertainment. So we're really excited about this. We're hoping you uh, get excited about this as well. So we want you to mark your calendars for Thursday, April 4th, 7 p.m. Excuse me. And, uh, and we hope that uh, not just that you, you will attend, but we hope that you will think about people who, uh, who maybe are interested in, in helping uh, uh, future a mission here at Grace Christian School and, and we'll want to come and, and bring them along. Um, again, we're excited about this. We anticipate uh, this is, this is going to go well. And so uh, if you have more questions or want to know more, you can talk with Steve Magistro or, or Amy Strohmeyer about that and they'll be able to, to help you out. Well, our, our budget uh, this year will increase uh, by, by 3%. And uh, much of that is, is just business costs uh, going up. Um, our enrollment uh, currently is 524 uh, four students, and uh, that some of those are, are part-time students. But this is the first year in five years that we have had the enrollment has, has gone up. We've been going through some, some, uh, some tough years through economy and, and things, and, and so it's really nice to, to have uh, enrollment uh, going up here a little bit. And so the budget next year will be based on a student enrollment of 516 students. Uh, the school board has decided that tuition for the 2019-2020 school year will increase by 3% as well. And so the result of that, as you can see here uh, on the left, is the, the total tuition for the kindergarten, elementary, and secondary. And then on the right is a monthly increase uh, per student uh, for kindergarten, elementary, and secondary. You know, we take things very seriously here um, as far as, as who we are. And, and we have, have shown you that. Hopefully you've seen that through our three distinctives. We have some bookmarks uh, on the back there. If you're interested in, in grabbing one of those and bringing those with you, we'd love to love for you to take that with you. But, but our three distinctives is, is who we strive to be. It's who we are. It's what we want to be known as. And uh, we want, our first distinctive is raising up biblical disciples. We want to be known as a school that produces students of God's word that strive to follow him in all areas of their life. That's who we want to be. Our second is college-ready scholars. We want to raise up college-ready scholars. We are a college preparatory school. And when students finish grace, we want them to have the skills that they will need to succeed at the next level, whether that's in college, or whether that is a trade school, or whether that's joining the job force. Uh, whatever it is that they want to do, we want them to have those skills available so that they can succeed at uh, what God has for them in the future. 
And we want to do all of this in an integrity-driven culture. We want to be a school that operates with integrity in everything that we do. This is not a perfect place. We are not a perfect school. We have issues that, that we, we, uh, we deal with. But we will engage one another and we will respond appropriately and seek unity with one another in, in all that we do. That's how we want to operate. That's who we want to be. And so we are asking uh, you as our, our uh, families, we're asking you to commit to another school year here at Grace Christian School. And so uh, February is uh, commitment month. You can see it's, it's uh, fairly simple. Um, complete uh, online commitment form. There's a $350 uh, commitment fee to everyone but one tonight. <laughs> yeah, oh, you got it? Okay. Uh, and then your student is enrolled, okay? And we're, we're able to, uh, to go through that. And that will open up on February 1st. And, uh, and we'll conclude on uh, February 28th. Next year we have the 29th, but not this year, it's 28th, okay? So don't wait for that bonus day, all right? And, and uh, what, what you can do is you can go onto our website and uh, here on the, the admissions uh, uh, link here, if you drop down, there's an enrollment tab there and you can click right on there and that will, uh, that will get you started in that. Or if you just wanna go to gracechristianalaska.org backslash commit, uh, that will take you straight to the link as well and, uh, and committing there online. And we have just found uh, through the years, um, the last few years that we've been doing this, this has worked out really, really well. If you wait until after February um, to complete the, you can still go online, complete the form. Uh, commitment fee is raised to $400, but then also there's a potential of being in a waiting pool. And uh, this is not a first come, first serve type of, type of situation. Uh, a waiting pool is one where, where we're looking at siblings in the school, the situation, mission appropriate, all those sorts of things, and just trying to get the best fit for, for the school. This is not, this is not a threat. It's not, it's not trying to be a problem. It's just saying, uh, take care of these things. If you, if you want to, to commit and be here, we're asking you to take care of that, okay? And so, uh, so the waiting pool is uh, one of those things that we have uh, we have set up, and, and uh, we do have a few classes where there is a, where there is a waiting pool at this time. <clears throat> All right. I think that uh, hopefully that will uh, that will answer your questions as far as is that. If you have other questions or you have uh, just not exactly sure um, uh, or or you want some help navigating this, feel free to come in and, and uh, ask Tammy, uh, ask Amy. I'd be glad to help you go through this and, and, uh, and work through. That is not a problem at all. Well, one of the things that uh, we, we kind of told you a little bit about, and we have some, some renderings back here, is, is a, a project we call Phase 4. Um, there is one spot left in this campus where we have the potential to build, and that is where the buses are parked back over here, buses and shuttles. Hopefully you know where that spot is, okay? And far into the building and, and just off the gym. And so uh, I'm going to ask uh, uh, Troy Fritzel, uh, one of our school board members who's working on this project, to talk to us a little bit about phase four. This is not a new, new idea. It's been around for a while, but we're, uh, we're looking to start the conversation tonight. So Troy? Hello, I'm, uh, my name is Troy Fritzel, and I'm on the school board. I'm a chair of the building committee. And, and as Randy had mentioned, um, this has not been around. This has been around for a little while. In fact, um, Phase four, which I'm, I'm pleased to introduce here tonight, was actually part of phase three, right? The, gym, yeah. the part of the gym. And was uh, split off at the time uh, for budget constraints. And so phase four, if we could put the kind of some of the slides up there, is a rendering showing uh, where the new building will go, um, just on the, on the east end of the south gym there. Um, I mentioned this to a few people, and the first question that always comes up is, where are the buses going to go? <laughs> so I don't know where the buses are going to go. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We're going to figure that one out next. Yeah, right. And so this is a two-story um, addition on the east side of the gym, but it also includes uh, an addition on the west side of the gym for storage, much-needed storage. I don't know if you've noticed, we've got little... 
Uh, I feel like a, a squirrel around here sometimes because there's little you know, pockets of things just stored everywhere. Um, and so on the east end, um, if, if you can just go ahead and then make one of the next ones. There's, uh, on the east end, there's kind of three main areas there. The, the first one is um, a locker room that'll be accessed on, uh, from, the gym, from the gym side there. You'll be able to go into the, the men's and women's locker room. And then there are also um, upstairs, there's a, a kind of a consolidation of the music department that will take place. So it'll be a new band room on, on one side of the upstairs and then also on the other side will be a new choir. So bringing all of that together, freeing up space in different areas of the, of the building now, which will be great. We'll all, it'll also include um, administrative offices. So be consolidating uh, a lot of the administrative staff into that area and also um, weight room downstairs. So um, one of the commitments that had been made when the gymnasium was built was uh, that the, the portables that are out there now were, was a, a temporary thing. And so we've, um, the city has graciously uh, turned their back and not really uh, enforced that, but you know, we do have a, a commitment at, you know, to, to pull those out of here at some point in time. So anyway, if you have any questions, I'll be uh, at the back afterwards. Um, feel free to uh, come back and we'll talk about that. Um, just, you know, we're currently working on the design. The design is uh, expected to be complete um, middle of March, somewhere right in there. We don't have a time frame for construction or any of that. We're just, we're just laying this out there trying to um, faithfully move this forward and um, as you know as the design progresses and we have more information we bring it to the to the uh, school and um, you know just uh, um, yeah just uh, the, right now the funding on the, the project um, we have a preliminary budget estimate of about four four and a half million dollars for the total cost of construction and we have about 20 percent of it um, it's actually already been raised and so uh, just through some generous support in the past, and uh, we'll be building on that in the future. Um, the, the, you know, we, uh, the school board is committed to building this um, without any debt, and so, um, you know, we are on God's timetable on this. So, thank you. Thank you, Troy, I appreciate it. And there's, yeah, there will be uh, some other classrooms in that, in that facility part as well, so we'll get rid of the portables and, and just uh, really be able to do some things. So I'd, I'd encourage you, if you want to take a look back at the, some of the renderings, there's, there's some uh, drawings there. Um, take a look at that, but, but thank you so much, Troy. Well, we want you to know that, uh, that our best selling point for, for why, why should people come to uh, Grace Christian School <coughs> is you all. It is, uh, it is you and, and your testimony of what Grace has done uh, to your family, to your children, um, and, and been for your children. I know uh, I don't hesitate uh, in sharing what Grace has done to, for our family. Five kids, K through 12, all the way through, it wouldn't change a thing. Uh, it hasn't always been easy. There's been some struggles. There's been some bumps. But I would not change a thing. It's been an amazing experience for us. And, uh, and we're committed to continuing to make this a, a wonderful place to educate your children. And so um, we would ask you to, uh, to share, uh, to talk, to tell people uh, about grace and, and, uh, and what you feel about grace and where, where, uh, where they should um, bring their children. Um, we have a couple of cards in the back. One, uh, this one uh, talks about these uh, upcoming events. Preschool story time is uh, every Tuesday, except for spring break, every Tuesday um, in February and March, and it's up in the library. It's with Mrs. Graham and Mrs. Ovilla, and, and uh, they just have uh, fun with the little ones that come. You don't have to be a part of the school. You don't even have to be thinking a part of the school in order to come. It's open to anybody, um, but, uh, but just a, a wonderful time there up in the library, preschool story hour, and then they come down and they play in the gym. And on some of those icy days, that's a popular uh, place to be, is in the gym with, with the little ones. Uh, kindergarten experience is uh, Wednesday, February 20th, and this is uh, where you come and you, you get a, a little taste. You start with chapel, and uh, they're in here with their, their kindergarten, uh, have some sixth grade buddies that are with them, and so you're with a kindergarten buddy, and you're there, and you're, you're going experiencing a day, and, and then there's also time for uh, parent and teacher interactions. They talk back and forth, so um, we're excited for kindergarten experience coming up February 20th, 
And then campus preview is, uh, is March 5th. And so a great way to uh, someone who's thinking, not sure what they want to do, um, you know, there's cards in the back here. Take take a few of these and, and give them to people and, and hand them out and, and share. Hey, why don't you why don't you come? Why don't you uh, register online for campus preview and just just come and join us there. Um, reminder of commitment month and, and the web address there is on there. So if you, you want to grab one of those, uh, you're welcome to and, and bookmarks as well. So um, please 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 think of mission appropriate families that you would want to encourage to come and join us here and uh, hear about the benefits of Grace Christian School. We, we would love uh, for, for more students to be here, so, so please think about that and, and help us out. All right, it's time for a drawing. All right, Mr. Magistro, would you bring that up? Are you ready? See, my wife loves the games and stuff like that, so she said, of course, why wouldn't you do something like this? All right, so this is, uh, this is my wife's uh, contribution to the, to the thing here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. And a free roll fee goes to number 451339. 451339. Anybody? It's Michelle Anybody? Lou. Anybody? It's Michelle Lou. Did you get it? It's, it's, it's Michelle Lou. That's Michelle Lou. Woo! Michelle Lou. All right. Very cool. All right. Excited. Well, congratulations. Excited for her. Good, good, good. All right. Well, let me uh, let me uh, pray for us, and uh, and please, you don't have to uh, to run off. Uh, talk to, to the administrators, the principals, the school board. Talk to the staff. Ask us questions. Uh, we're here for you. So uh, if we can help you out, or we can uh, spend a little time, we'd love to do that. So um, pray with me, and then we'll be dismissed. Father God, thank you so much for this evening. God, we thank you for uh, Grace Christian School, and we pray, God, that you would continue to use this school for your honor, for your glory. It's, it's, it's not about us, Father, but it's your school. And so we pray that you would help us to raise our children um, in fear and admonition of you. We pray that you would uh, raise up biblical disciples here that, that uh, do want to have a transforming influence in their world and have a passion for you. So we thank you, Father, for the privilege it is to serve you here, and we pray that you would be glorified in through this, this place. Pray that you bless these families, uh, give them safe travels tonight, but bless them as they, they continue on through the school year. May you be glorified in each of their lives. We love you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. We're dismissed.